I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh my. See, I've been hearing a lot of rumors. Horrible rumor. But guess what? I'm alive. This one's about to do it. Hello, don't jam my vehicle. Sorry, I'm still in Nigeria. That's why I was thinking that the next video I will make, it will be in abroad. I would have been in Boya Bukwe, America. I will be fresh. But I'm still stuck in Nigeria. Anyways, guys, I'm alive. And because of that, I just want to apologize that I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, people have been reaching out in my DMs and wherever you've been, what's going on. I'm good. And because of that, I want to treat you guys to a life cheat code of life. This is how to find the best Amala. There are a lot of people that come to Nigeria for the first time and they want to try Amala. And I see them going to go and eat Amala of 3,500, 4,000 Naira. And they start saying that, oh, Amala is rubbish. Amala is calm. Amala is bastardic. Amala is not the problem. You are the problem because you don't know where to go. So this is going to be a vlog on how to find the best Amala in the world. And this has nothing to do with the country you're in. This has just to do with Amala conditioning. First of all, location of Amala. Amala cannot be in somewhere like this estate, GRA. It can never be nice. It's not nice. Amala has to be somewhere that is close to suffering. There is embodied around suffering where there is no water. If they fetch water inside the bucket or fetch water inside um bowl, that is where you find the best Amala. Amala cannot be in a restaurant where they have AC, where they have fan, where you know there's comfortability. Amala for Amala to be nice, you have to have a little bit of embodiment of suffering. Suffering have to surround it because that's what's gonna help the Amala digest better. So I'm going to take you to some places where you can find what I'm talking about. If you're eating Amala and they sell and they and they on television for you, DSTV, you are watching African magic. Oh, Amala can never be nice. The next thing to the pricing of Amala, any Amala that is more than that is more than 50 naira per scoop is rubbish. Amala is saved per scoop. One scoop like this of hand is 50 naira. Anything more than that is a lie. It's not nice. So I'm gonna take you there. Then also the protein that comes with Amala. So I see some people. Oh my god, this is Nigeria is useless too. I'm in the wrong area. I've lost to I don't have work for this thing I'm doing. Anyways, as I was saying, um Amala protein. I see some people eating Amala with periwinkle, seafood, seafood, um boya kitoki. Kitoki is even alright. But anything that is more any protein that you can that is more than hundred between hundred naira to five hundred naira. You can't eat it with Amala. I see some people eating Amala with um prawns. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fancy. That is so fancy. And you need to find a goat that have walked from Accra to Nigeria. That is the kind of suffering I'm talking about. Kill that goat, then boil it. Oh my God, it will digest better. And the, the serving of the goats cannot be passed more than 400 naira. 400 naira per meat of the goat of fish. But I'm talking too much now. Let's be going to the Amala place. Let's be driving. As you can see, I mean, this is my area where I live. It's a GRA. And there's somebody that says Amala here, but she's deceiving herself because I will never come. I think she saved Amala for 2,500 Naira. You can see this area. Anyway, they have third road like this. The Amala cannot be nice. You see people, they are, they are even, they are lining up. They are being caught here. Amala need a bit of, of Agberu, of, of rushing. Let me tell you, let me show you where I'm going to. Not this area, this place is too fine. You, know, with the, you see this place, you see something like this. Look at this flower, roses. Anywhere you see roses like this, the Amala there is rubbish. The area that they have, in fact, there's drought, famination, tree doing to grow in that area. That's where the Amala there is the best. So let's be going. Um, by the way, if you're just joining the page, subscribe to the channel below. Beggary and Ewedu. Okay. Um, one. Do you have the small ones? Yes, yes. Please give me four small ones.
Sharp. Thank you. Sorry. No. Okay. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying about ambience of suffering. They didn't come here to say, oh, um, can you have a seat? Do you want to serve yet? I serve it. Any Amala that doesn't come in bowl, it's not real Amala. As you can see, this is stainless steel. I need to feel like, yeah, just, just put that on there. Thanks. So yeah, any Amala doesn't come with um, serviette that comes in a bowl, that comes with as you can see, there's no fan here. I'm going to sweat. I'm going to sweat. As I'm sweating, the food is going to be digesting. So more importantly, how to... The water you drink. You don't ask for wine or, you know, champagne or chapman. Either pure water or cold coke. So you need cold coke. If you don't have cold coke, give me cold pure water or cold bottle water. Do you have cold bottle water? That is what I'm talking about. 15 era, this whole meat that I'm eating like this 150 era meat, 150 era mala, 400 era meat, 100 era water, 650. Perfect. I know Amala lovers will say that I'm using spoon, but let's not forget that I'm planning to move abroad soon and um, I need to get ready for abroad. In abroad, Apparently, you don't use your hand, so. Whew. Delicious. So fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. There's no Amala. Anywhere in the world they don't have these ingredients that will not be good i don't know whether you are in london if you can find where they don't have tired road in in peckham or Woolwich, and there is no fan an ac there you will get it if you're in america you can find somewhere that the water pump has burst i think that's somewhere like philadelphia or brooklyn you will find it cyprus they have something like that there but anyways um this um, is a Malayahu, and I I love it here. I um, I would definitely recommend it to anybody. Not joking. And if you don't eat your Malay like this, like finish the last soup. Let them know that. I'm not joking with them. <laughs>